Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map released for Farming Simulator 19. So this is Oak Hill by Lancy Boy and the description on the mod hub says welcome to Oak Hill which is a fictional map based around areas of Wales and England new crop types rye and alfalfa animals that are included two times cattle yards with custom made barns sheep farm with custom made barns one sheep field plus pigs with custom made barn full season supported precision farming supported real life Fent and Massey dealer shop one times custom build farmhouse by myself without trigger player can import their own sleep trigger there are 123 fields ranging from small to medium three selling points including BGA eight farms including animals custom transport missions and 82 field missions custom soil textures distance grass ground textures custom lighting animated objects and then Lancy Boy at the ends added on all brand new custom made farm models and all various farm and simulator 19 features as well I've put tons of hours making my own models all I ask is for you to ask permission to use my assets credits to everyone that has supported me so let's have a quick look at it this is by the way a whopping 545 megabytes to download but there's a ton of detail on it it's really got a good feel about this map um, so I'm in new farmer mode we start off up here which is kind of like your starting area and we start off with fields 47, 51 and 52 which are all grass fields Field prices, mm, they're not too bad because they come in mainly bo blocks of two or three. They are a little bit expensive. So they're 29.30, that's 321,000. 79 and 80, 254. That's one of the farms to buy, 363. That comes in, blimey, you get five, no, four, five, six fields there for 782. One on its own there for 72,000, so you get the gist. There is a BGA, like it says, that's 58,488, which isn't too bad. I've seen worse. And then obviously we've got our sale points all dotted around. We've got animal dealer and shop just across the road from where we start. And then you've got these seed tanks which are um, scattered around the map. I think there's like three or four of them. We've got a cow pasture there. Sheep pasture there. Chickens down here with one of our silos there. And there's different fuel points as well around the map like so another cow pasture there there's a seed tank there I think there's one down here yet yeah. we'll take all in most of this anyway a sheep pasture there this is like another big farm area there's no animals on there but your main farm silos there pigs up there and another pig enclosure just there there is contracts available on here and like it says if we go along there it is so at the end there we've got our alfalfa or lucerne as it says on that menu you've got your normal or your dry which is like your hay making hay the same thing and we got the rye at the end there's the contracts and then this is where we start and there each farm has got a ton of storage 
most of the um, buildings have got a little hazard mark there just to show you where the light triggers are like so and that is basically all your equipment you don't get a lot so it's going to be a bit of a slog and also these fields that we own they've got a nice slope to them they're pretty steep some of these so let's have a quick look at our equipment in terms of the slot count it's gonna be the same across all three modes so because you start off with all this equipment in all three modes so you start off with 632 slots if you sell everything you get that down to 593 slots and then obviously the only difference being between the two modes in farm manager and start from scratch you start off with no fields obviously and you won't have any crops in your silo ready for you so we start off with the Fiat 1300 DT, a Stroutman SEK 802, the Polymag Cultivator, the Amazon D830 Cedar, and then we've got this large grain silo, which I just showed you. That's been modded in because that accepts rye. You can see just down the bottom there, you've got the rye symbol. That's 200,000 litre capacity. And we've got a small grain silo which just takes your standard crops that's a hundred thousand liter and then we've got this silage shed which is basically a double bunker silo but it's covered that's modded in and the only modded in things i could find was in miscellaneous you've got this selling station too which you can buy for a pound so you could put as many as you want down of them but when you place one it does appear in your um, selling point menu as port and we've already got one port and it basically you can just sell everything the same as the in-game port so if you place that down it's just going to accept all your main crops exactly the same as the port one originally in the game I don't think there was anything in decoration no nope. silos like I said it's going to be the large grain one to accept rye and then in sheds we've got the silage shed there's nothing in farmhouse because while we're on the subject of farmhouse I couldn't actually find the farmhouse that Lancy boy mentions in the description but there is various places for you to um buy and build on there's like a placeable area up here there's another one here with some sheds already on it but you can add to it you can't sell off any of the sheds and I think there's one here as well so with that said let's go and jump into it so yeah like I say lots of storage and watch the traffic because there is traffic so straight across the road to our left there we've got our first of our cell point which is a bell cell point so it's bells manure no it's not it's animal market forgive me which is down here that's the only thing this menu where you've got the two spinneries and you've got the two well bells manure and market it kind of flicks it it takes a while to get down like that but it's playing up now you just got to keep pushing down animal market it's just going to be all your bells basically it also takes alfalfa and the dry alfalfa from there over here we've got our animal dealer and your trigger is just going to be here for buying and selling your animals you've got a little bit of storage around here dotted around if we go into here this is our shop so you've got a workshop trigger there so you can work on your equipment and customize it 
the shop menus just here and you can go into all of these buildings if you wanted to add more sort of storage areas near your farm go in there got a poorly John Deere there being worked on again light switches all like that so what we're going to do is lease a pickup because our Fiat only does 15 miles per hour so if you buy anything or lease anything it's going to appear just over here I haven't tested the reset point but it's either going to be here or your farm and it's only over the road from each other I'm guessing it will be here because um, of the options you've got of moving your farm around the map so if we come out of here there's quite a lot to take in so I'm going to be as quick as I can but without rushing it too much I think yeah this turn in here straight away got a cash machine just there this is the garden center so you've got a bells manure cell point there which we're just looking at and the garden center one just over there so that's going to be for your bells again and your garden center ones just there way no is the answer but there's so much detail in this map I mean this even just looks like a garden center although these cars need to learn how to park properly right so and I need to learn how to drive properly right so now we will head down to the first of the cow pastures so I need to swing a left here Whoa, uh. some of the farm areas which you'll see they're quite tight so you know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea this map But if you love your British maps, this is going to be right up your street. So a swing a left here. And you've got like, like this, little farmhouses all around the map. So you could use that as your farmhouse if you wanted, if you wanted to buy this farm. So we go over the cattle grid there. So this is our first cow pasture. You've got a bunker silo here. This is your slurry pit. Toxic gas. And then this is one of the seed tanks that are dotted around the map. So you can get your seeds from there. Again, ton of um, storage space. Lots and lots of storage. It's like little things like that. That's going to be quite tight getting in there. So all gates open and close pretty good and then I think just over here is your dialogue box for your cows your straw triggers just in here and your feed triggers just through here and the manure spawned for me just out here well I say for me it's going to be for everyone I'm, I'm not special and then you've got your water trough just out there so that is that one we'll jump back in here and we'll head out the back and I'm going to be I think if I go this way through the field yeah 
I go this way or I take in this um, placeable area you can just see it in front of us there that's where our large grain silo is so we'll just cut across someone's field because <laughs> we're naughty and it's just up here is it Again, you've got another seed tank there. You've got fuel tanks at some of the farms. Ton of storage again. You can open all the doors. A little area there to place things if you so wish. You're definitely not going to be shy of um, storage. This one here has got a workshop trigger just inside. Car being worked on over there. Again, all of these open. And then this is our grain silo, the large one. So just in here is where you tip in. And then you've got your pipe out there like so. Again, you can use this as an option. Look, we've got a caravan or a trailer if you're American I think they call them trailers so you could put a doormat down there you could have that as your farmhouse now I can't get through there so we'll run back to the pickup and then what we'll do now so what we did so far is we came out of our farm across here into the garden centre and then we come down across down there and I cut across this field to show you that and I think if we come down this road and along we'll check out we'll go right down the end that's just a fuel point it's not a petrol station so I won't bother going there we'll go to the chickens and this silo there so I'll probably cut a little bit down to as we're coming through there so I'll see you in a sec so we're just coming up to the chicken farm we just turn in there So there's your small grain silo and again you can go all in these buildings like so, there's another building there you can go in. I forgot to say actually the cows we've just showed you hold 500, this chicken pen holds 500 as well, you've got your dialogue box there eggs will appear there and your feed trough is just there so that is the chickens and if we come out of here we'll go and check out the first of the sheep pastures It's a really, you know, colourful, sort of picturesque, I use that word quite a lot on some of the map tours, but it really is. So if we swing up here, go to the sheep first and come back to this cell point. Again, you got like a sort of residential area here lovely looking farm buildings so sheep just in here 
this holds 500 as well there's your dialog box your wall appears there and then you've got your feed and your water troughs feed there and water there what I did like is when I filled this up when I tested it your grass goes in there and then when they make a mess instead of it being the grass color and you've got sort of difficulty spotting it in the grass that's already growing it kind of became a sort of straw color I'm guessing they've done that to um help you find where you've got to clean up so we're back around in there and we'll go back to that sail point again loads of little buildings like farms you could use is it in here yet? so we go in here over the speed bumps There you go, there's that cell point just there. So what I did was came down this road from there along, showed you the chicken farm, we came back up, up there, sheep pasture, and we're now at South Grain, which I think is one of your main cell points. Yeah, so your garden centre, South Grain and Port are your main cell points. And then from here, we will come out and we'll go straight across the road down to here, check out the spinnery and market. A lot of people would might say, oh, well, the slot count's quite high, but when you see the amount of detail that's in this map it's unbelievable and it explains why it's high you've got a lot of police cars dotted around as well like this so you need to be a good boy on this map or girl good girl You can see plenty of traffic on the map and most of them they don't hang about where's he going and then I think we need to turn another police look Actually, we'll go in here first. If I park there, I jump the fence gate. Cause in here is another sort of area you could use as a farm. Sea tank there. Again, plenty of storage. You got a water tank there, which you don't get on all the farms. I think there's one at one of the cow barns not the first one we saw the next one all this storage you can go into all of them again so your well is your oyster kind of thing on this map probably be really good I'd, I've never played multiplayer but I'm guessing it's gonna be really good for multiplayer with all these different options of starting farms everywhere what are they doing up there there's a cash machine there and then I think if we turn left by this phone box without knocking this person over excuse me yeah you've got a cash machine there and just there right so we came down from south grain we're here so that 
sell point there is your market which is just there which again is one of the bell sell points and then round the back here got us one of our spinneries just there so from here we will come out and we'll go up this road I think and we'll go up to the second of the cow pastures no traffic coming because I'm just pulling out you know you've got loads of it, it looks like a proper a lived in place you know well, it looks like there's a bunker silo there I missed that sorry there you go you got a scrap yard here look with old cars and vans boats even and I think actually I need to turn right there Oh, of course the right mess now okay okay that's my fault too busy taking in the scenery and none of it's really flat you've got all these sort of hills and when you look out over there it just looks lovely I need to concentrate now because I'm going to miss my turning. You've got your wind turbines. Look at that over there. Lighthouse. Brilliant, this map. And I think if we go up here, we head into the second of the cow pastures over the cattle grid. So if we jump out of there, again, loads and loads of storage space. Just everywhere. And they're all different, all the farms are different. They're, you know, you don't go to one and go, oh, that's the same as the last one. It's just all different. So here is your straw um, trigger for the cows. You've got your slurry pit there, which you can actually open this grill, which is quite cool. You feed troughs through there. I got the trigger come up this side, but your feed appears in a line along this little wall. But what was a bit funny is obviously your feed appears and it's like the greeny color, but then the manure started appearing here in a line, which was nearly the same sort of colour. So you could find your cows are starting to eat their own poo. <laughs> There's your dialogue box just there. And your water point is just out there in the field. So they've got all this space to um, roam around in. You've got more storage space there. And then somewhere around here, where is it? Oh, I don't think I showed you the milk on the first farm, but it is there. We've got another water point there. And then this is the silage shed that you start off with. So this one here, if you want to sell it, you can sell it and get rid of it. But that is it quite a big capacity by the look of it um, you've got some little calves there there's your milk for this one so that is that farm that's another fuel point just there and if we come back out so we came up this road and then up this track and we're here I'll come back down and go towards the sheep pasture and I'll see you just as we're coming down towards that so we're just 
coming up to the sheep farm I've got to tell you again those cows back there they hold 500 and the sheep hold 500 basically apart from the pigs every animal pen holds 500 and both pig pens hold 300 so again you've got a little farmhouse there you could use as your starting farm if you so wish to just in here we'll run through here we've got another sea tank there I think that's more fuel there again lots of space storage you got your dialogue box there like I say 500 sheep if I can get up on the fence you've got your um, water trough out there and your feed trough is just here and then your wall is going to spawn just behind us all this space here if you want to use it lots and lots so from there so like I said we come down and through there I think we want to go it's a bit difficult to see some of it I think if we can take this road up here and then we'll go up and we'll check out the biogas plant and all this area so we'll jump back in the pickup double check that's the right road I want yeah straight up there again it's just such a pretty map if you want to say it like that it feels real it feels lived in used So we'll whiz on up here. And I think, yeah, left here. I mean, just look at that, that looks so smart. Here's our BG8. jump out we've got your digester there two bunker silos just over there your digestate will come out there and then just up the back here we've got another bow cell point so we came out of the sheet back up this road left here up along down and we're here and then we'll come out, we'll go to the pigs. The first of the pigs. Just straight across, not even stopping because we don't care. This is the pigs. There's your dialogue box. This will hold 300, like I said. You got your feed trough there. Your water trough there. This is your straw trigger. More shed space. Little area there for something maybe placeable. Our slurry pit is there and we've got our manure pit just there like so if we come 
back out of here. We've got two cell points just down here. There's no collisions on the hedges, by the way. There is a few fences um, around the map, which is obviously going to have collisions on. So if we come down here, a little kiddies playground there, a bit of a random area to have one of those. And then in here, I think, is your second spinnery. Just there. And this is sawmill, but I think it only takes wood chips, this one. Yeah, sawmill spinnery. So this sawmill's just for your wood chips, because there is two of them. So if we whiz out of here... to go, I'll just have to check the map, oh yeah, if we went up there and then left we're going to the port, do a bit of overtaking, we're on a map tour, so down here, Again, just look at the views. It's just done a brilliant job on this map. Just little areas like that. And then this is ports. You've got another cash machine there. And this is going to be one of your main sail points, just there. That guy's doing a bit of off-roading in his forklift. So that is port there. And then if we come out of there and we'll come up and we'll visit this sawmill and then finish off just up here. Swing a right. And this is the second sawmill. So just there. Pull up for your lumber. And your triggers there for it. Again, just on the right coming up, you've got another sort of area with shed storage on it if you wanted to sort of incorporate that into your game more farmhouses and then if I missed that yeah I hope there's no one behind me This is the last of the pig barns. So we'll stop there. Um, that's going to be your manure pit for your pigs. That is your straw area. Yep, yeah, because your feed area is here. More storage space. Slurry pit there. Yeah, animal dialogue box is just going to appear there and the water trough is just out there in the middle lovely little church over there 
we can go through here this yard opens up with a fuel point there again lots more shed space more farmhouses if you wanted to use them and then if we run through here we've got kind of like a little village going on lovely little red foam box very British whoa uh, a few shops dotted around pedestrians use the um, crossings more police then we've got like a little market stall, clove stall, all your fruit and veg, and then this is going to be another sale point, which is market, which is just for what is that? Eggs and milk. I don't think it takes anything else. So what did we do? We came out of. I can't remember what we did. We came out of the sawmill and spinnery, came up into the port, out of the port, up round sawmill. That was that placeable area I said. Then we were in into the pigs and we did this. And there's obviously another fuel point there. I showed you that when we were running around the pig farm. And then that, I believe, oh, I'll show you these. Just little things like this, look. You've got a bit of construction work going on here. Another cash machine there. They must be having some work done on that road. That is Oak Hill by Lancy Boy. The mist coming off of that light. Yeah, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video, the map tour. Sorry if it felt a bit rushed, but um, there was a lot to take in. If you have enjoyed it, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.